Let's solve one problem based on multiple transformations of continuous time signals. In this problem, we need to plot the signal yt which is equal to 3x 2t plus 3. Plot of signal xt is already given in the problem and by using this plot, we need to plot the signal yt. And if you remember the last presentation, we obtained the priority order for various operations on continuous time signals. The first priority is given to time reversal. So the first thing we have to do is to reverse the time. The second priority is given to time shifting. After time reversal, we have to shift the time. The third priority is given to time scaling, time scaling and we can perform amplitude scaling at any time. I will perform amplitude scaling after time scaling. So amplitude scaling is the last operation. You can also perform amplitude scaling before time reversal. Now we will move to the solution of this problem. You can see yt is not having negative t. So there is no need to perform the time reversal and we will start with time shifting. The original signal is xt and now we will perform the time shifting the time shifting with a small k equal to 3 because we are adding 3 to the time so the new signal is x t plus 3 and we have to plot the waveform of the signal x t plus 3 here k is positive this means this is the case of time advance and we will get everything 3 seconds early so in place of minus 1 we will have minus 4 minus 4 and in place of 3 we will have 0 the amplitude will remain same in case of time shifting the amplitude is equal to 1 in case of signal xt so we will have amplitude equal to 1 in case of signal xt plus 3 so this is the waveform of this signal and now we will perform the time scaling the signal is x t plus 3 and we will perform the time scaling with alpha equal to 2 because we are multiplying 2 to the time so the new signal is x 2 t plus 3 and in case of time scaling we have to divide alpha t axis by alpha alpha is equal to 2 so we will divide minus 4 by 2 and 0 by 2 this will give us minus 2 and 0 the amplitude will remain same which is equal to 1 so we have 1 as the amplitude in case of signal x 2 t plus 3 this is the plot of signal x 2 t plus 3 now we will move to the last operation to find out the signal y t the last operation is amplitude scaling and if you see the expression of yt you will find we are multiplying 3 to x 2t plus 3 so x 2t plus 3 is what we have as the original signal in this last case and we will perform the amplitude scaling in which beta is equal to 3 after this we will have 3x 2t plus 3 in case of amplitude scaling there will be change in the amplitude but time will remain same so we have minus 2 0 and in place of 1 we will have 3 because 1 multiplied by 3 is equal to 3 so this is the amplitude of the final signal and it is equal to 3 the final signal is 3x 2t plus 3 or we can say yt now we will analyze all these waveforms in first operation we have time advance because k is positive and you can see the whole waveform the whole waveform is shifted to the left so this case is also called as left shifting in the second operation we perform time scaling and you can see alpha is greater than 1 this means this is the case of compression and if you compare these two signals you will find this signal is compressed in the last operation in case of amplitude scaling beta is equal to 3 which is greater than 1 and when beta is greater than 1 we have the amplification 
Comparing the two signals, we can clearly see there is amplification or increment in the amplitude. So this is all for this lecture. You can easily solve the problems based on multiple transformations if you follow the priority order in correct manner. In case of discrete time signals, we have to follow the same steps. Try solving few examples based on discrete time signals and if you have any problem, you may ask in the comment section.